wind turbine service technicians install, maintain, and repair wind turbines. In this video, we will go over what they do, the job market, what kind of money they make, and the top industries and states. Come on up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. We have weekly videos on different career statistics and we do interviews. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button to support this channel. Wind turbine service technicians, also known as wind techs, install, maintain, and repair wind turbines. Wind turbines are large mechanical devices that convert wind energy into electricity. They are electronically monitored 24 hours a day and seven days a week. When something goes wrong, a wind turbine technician is notified and they end up doing the repairs. Usually maintenance involves inspecting components and lubricating parts. It doesn't take a college degree to become a wind turbine technician. Some people go to technical school and enter the industry that way. Others just graduate high school and enter the industry. I was actually looking at different job postings on indeed.com and I noticed that some jobs don't even require a high school degree. So definitely examine your options before going off and spending tens of thousands of dollars on an education you might not end up needing to enter the industry. Next, let's take a look at the job market. Wind turbine technicians work for a variety of different employers. 35% work in electric power generation, 26% work in repair and maintenance, 13% are self-employed, 13% work in utility system construction, and 3% work in professional services. As far as pay goes, professional services on average pays the most, with the average base salary of around $66,000 per year. Next is electric power generation, where the average base salary is around $62,000, repair and maintenance is around $49,000, and utility system construction is around $48,000 per year as a base salary. Pretty much all of my statistics are from the Department of Labor, and unfortunately, they don't track the incomes of business owners. One really promising aspect of becoming a wind turbine technician is that 13% of them are self-employed. To compare this to some of the other occupations, 9% of HVAC techs are self-employed, 9% of plumbers, about 6% of electricians, and about 6% of welders. There definitely are some stories of wind turbine technicians earning far above the base salaries I talked about above. Another way for them to boost their income is through overtime. As I will get through later in the video, there is gonna be a lot of work for wind turbine technicians, and I'm guessing overtime will be very, very available. This is a relatively new occupation, and actually the Department of Labor has only been collecting statistics on them since 2012. Here are the job statistics numbers going back to 2012. As I said previously, there were no labor statistics for this occupation before 2012. In 2012, the government recorded 3,200 jobs. And then by 2018, the government recorded 5,580 jobs. So in just six years, the number of wind turbine technicians hasn't quite doubled, but the number of jobs has been rising very quickly. Also, the government is extremely optimistic about the future job market of wind turbine technicians. They are forecasting a 57% job growth from 2018 to 2028. This is a pretty small occupation right now of only about 5,600 jobs, but this is really promising. I have yet to see an occupation with this kind of future job growth. The average occupation on the other hand is expected to rise by around 5%. There are a number of reasons why they are anticipating such high job growth. Wind turbine towers with large blades has reduced the cost of wind power. And over the years, it has been getting more competitive with coal, natural gas, and other power generation. And here's the big thing. Every single wind turbine across the country requires maintenance. So as more and more wind turbines are erected, more and more wind turbine techs will be needed to maintain them. Next, let's take a look at what wind turbine technicians earn nationally. In 2012, the national base salary was recorded at $48,320. By the year 2018, the national base salary was recorded at $58,000. So nationally, wages rose for wind turbine techs by about $10,000 over just a period of six years. And also, these are base salaries, so they can be boosted with overtime. So this is a relatively small occupation now, but it is expected to grow by leaps and bounds. Another thing to keep in mind is this is a very regional occupation. Certain states are completely off limits. Here's a map where all the jobs are. Texas, California, Illinois, and Iowa are great states for this occupation. All of the white areas on this map have very few or no jobs for wind turbine technicians. So here are, in my view, the five best states for wind turbine technicians. The number five spot on my list is the Lone Star State. We are going south to Texas. There is over 1,700 jobs for wind turbine technicians in the state of Texas. And the average wage is $55,340, which is about $5,000 above the national average. 
Next, we are heading west to the Golden State. This is the state of California. There is over 600 jobs for wind turbine technicians in the state of California, and the average wage is about $58,000 per year. Next, we are headed to the Northeast Corridor. We are headed to the Keystone State, also known as the state of Pennsylvania. There is 390 jobs for wind turbine technicians in Pennsylvania, and the average wage is $59,860. From the state of Pennsylvania, we are heading west to the Hawkeye State. This is the state of Iowa. There is 490 jobs, and the average wage in Iowa for wind techs is $60,960. And number one on my list is the Prairie State, also known as the Land of Lincoln. This is the state of Illinois. There is 460 jobs for wind techs, and the average wage in Illinois is $64,180. Becoming a wind tech doesn't require college and in some cases doesn't even require a technical school. This is a fast growing occupation with pretty good wage numbers. Are you interested in becoming a wind tech? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.